Hey friends, my name is Italo, and a fun fact about me is I love connect dot puzzles. But the truth is, figuring out why the picture will be when the dots are connected is not always easy. I think that if we are honest, that is kind of how it feels trying to grow our faith. God wants our faith to grow, but actually doing it, it can feel like connecting the dots. We have an idea of what it should look like, but until we actually connect the dots, we cannot see the whole picture of what growing our faith really means. But before we jump into all that, let me tell you a story. When I was in middle school, my parents were not doing so great. They decided to separate during Christmas. So it was a really tough time for me and I did not understand why that happened. Maybe you can relate. Because if there is one thing that all of us are going to experience in one way or another, it's tough times. For some of you, life just feels hard right now. And you are dealing with things like death, sickness, pain, loneliness, stress, anxiety, or depression. Think for a moment of something tough you're facing right now. Do you got that thing in your head? I want you to keep that in mind. Maybe you're thinking, actually, you know, things in my life are going pretty well right now. If that's you, I'm so glad to hear that. I think there are definitely times in life where things just seem to work and everything feels like it's falling into place. But the truth is, eventually, life gets difficult for all of us. It might be tomorrow or next month or even next year. At some point, we are going to experience a tough situation in our life. And that's why I think it is so important to talk about this today because I want all of us to know that when tough times come our way, it does not have to be the end of the story. It does not have to defeat us. It does not have to be the thing that breaks our faith down. Because yes, difficult things are going to happen in our life. If we are open to it, God can actually use those things to grow our faith in deeper and stronger ways. Now, I get this may be confusing for you. Because if you're anything like me, when you experience tough times, you don't always feel closer to God. Maybe you start to question, where's God? Or why will these things happen? Maybe you get mad at God for not stopping it. Maybe the difficult things you're going through have caused you to question if you even believe in God. If you have felt any of those things about God during your tough times, I get it, you are not alone. But here is what I want you to know today. God does not cause bad things to happen to you so that your faith can grow. The tough times in your lives happen because the world is not the way God intended it to be. God is not happy when bad things happen to us, but God can also bring a little bit of good out of the most difficult moments in our lives. How we respond to tough times is what helps our faith grow. We may not be able to control the difficult situations in our life, but we do get to decide if we are going to let God use those tough times to grow our faith. I think the best example of tough times changing someone's faith comes from the life of Jesus himself. We know this because John, one of Jesus' closest followers while he was on earth, wrote down the things he saw Jesus do and experience. And that includes more than a few tough times. When Jesus was on earth, he had friends just like us. And three of his closest friends were siblings named Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Jesus loved and cared about these three individuals a lot. Why? Because they were his real friends. Then, one day, Lazarus got really sick. Obviously, Mary and Martha were worried about him. So they decided to send a message to Jesus to tell him what was going on with Lazarus. Mary and Martha knew that Jesus had healed a lot of people. So it makes sense that they thought that Jesus would be able to heal Lazarus too. They probably did not even question it. Of course, Jesus will save Lazarus, right? Well, unfortunately, things did not turn out the way they wanted. Jesus did not rush to help heal Lazarus like Mary and Martha hoped he would. And in the meantime, Lazarus died. Imagine how confused and upset everyone must have been. Did Jesus just make a huge mistake? Jesus could have stopped his friend from dying, but he did not. That had to be difficult for Mary and Martha to understand. When Jesus finally made his way to their house a few days after Lazarus died, Jesus was greeted by Martha who had one very important thing to say. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. If I put myself in Martha's shoes in this moment, I totally get it. I will feel the same exact way. Jesus had healed so many other people, but he did not heal Lazarus, his friend. Obviously, Martha wanted to understand why this happened. That makes total sense. But the second thing Martha said to Jesus was even more interesting. 
She was standing in front of Jesus, broken and hurt, but she still believed. In the middle of the toughest thing she might ever deal with, Martha told Jesus that she believed God will give Jesus anything he asked for. In other words, even in the tough times, she still believed in and trusts God. That is what this moment was really all about. In the middle of the confusion and hurt and pain, the question for Martha is the same one we ask ourselves during tough times. Can we really trust God? Can we put our faith in God even when the difficult things happen? Martha believed in Jesus, even though her brother died. She still trusts him. Sure, she questioned Jesus, but she told Jesus exactly how she felt. But she still believed and trusts Jesus. Why? Because she knew Jesus. And knowing Jesus changed everything. After this exchange with Martha, something else really surprising happened. Jesus wept over the loss of his friend. Jesus crying, and if you ask me, this is huge. When we wonder where God is in the middle of our suffering or how God feels about the pain we are experiencing, we can look at this moment with Jesus who was God on earth and find the answer. Jesus wept. He cried over the loss of his friend. Jesus cried over the pain Mary and Martha were experiencing. Jesus showed up, sat with them in the middle of the toughest moment, and he cried. And Jesus does the same for us. When tough times come our way, we are not alone. Jesus shows up to be with us. He cares about us, he cares about our pain, and he wants to sit with us in our toughest, most difficult times. But this was not the end of the story. Jesus did something crazy after that. Before I tell you what Jesus did, let me show you what Lazarus' grave might have looked like back in Jesus' time. You see, people were not burying a mother grave like we might be familiar with. The graves back then were similar to caves that were sealed with a large and heavy rock, like this. After Lazarus died, Jesus went to his grave and asked for the stone covering to be removed. Strange, right? Well, after the grave was opened, Jesus spoke to it and asked Lazarus to come out. If this sounds crazy, it's because it is. Lazarus had been dead for days at this point. How could it be that speaking into a grave will do anything? Well, remember, now when Jesus change everything. And in this case, it changed that to life because Lazarus walked right out that grave, completely and totally alive. Did Jesus do this just because Lazarus was his friend? Was he trying to make Mary and Martha feel better? Well, as we will see, the purpose behind this miracle was so much more than that. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and seen what Jesus did, believed in him. Jesus used this situation to grow people's faith. Those tough circumstances that Mary, Martha, and Lazarus experienced made the faith of so many people grow stronger. They chose to believe. They chose to trust Jesus in the middle of the toughest time. And it paid off, not just for them, but for the people around them who saw and heard about it. Their tough times grew their faith and their faith of those around them. And the same can be true for you. Tough times can grow your faith. I want to tell you about a time when this was true in my life. A few years ago, my dad passed away. At the moment of the news, I fell apart. I was so confused about why that would happen to him. I asked God so many questions. I told God how sad I felt about my dad passing away. But even in the midst of the confusion and questioning the situation, I decided to trust God. I decided that the plan that God has for me is better than the one that I can imagine. During those days, I experienced a peace inside of me that I have never experienced before. I felt God being so close to me and giving me the peace that I could not find anywhere. Tough times are going to happen, and when they do, God shows up. Sometimes that changes the outcome of our circumstances, and sometimes it does not. But whatever the outcome, the scriptures we just read show us what can be possible when we choose to trust that God is with us in the pain, that God cares about what we are experiencing, that God can use those tough times to change not just the way we believe, but the way that others believe too. Because tough time can grow your faith. So, what are we supposed to do with this? How can we connect the dots between the tough things that we are experiencing and the God who wants to grow our faith through them? Well, I think we can start by remembering what Martha did during the really difficult time in her life. First. Be honest with God. Martha did not immediately greet Jesus with belief and trust. Before she could get there, she told him how she felt about what she was going through. She was honest with him about her pain. And that's exactly what we need to do too. Maybe you're angry at God for the pain you're experiencing. Maybe you're confused as to why this difficult thing in your life is happening. 
Maybe you have questions about if you can even trust or believe that God is real right now. Be honest about that. Talk to God about it and do not hold back. Because God wants our faith to grow, and that means God wants us to be honest about the things that may be causing us to struggle, doubt, or just completely not understand. So start with honesty. Then look for God. Look for God when you are going through tough times. I know it can be really hard to see sometimes, but even if you cannot see where or how God is working, you can still choose to trust God is with you that God cares and that your faith will grow. You can also look for the people helping around you as you go through a tough time. The people around you might be the one way that God is working in the middle of the really hard situation. No matter what you're going through, you can choose to trust God with your tough times. Choose to believe no matter what the outcome is, God can use it to grow your faith. It will not be easy. And I get that. But the next time you find yourself in the middle of a really hard time, I want to challenge you to simply pray this. God, I trust you are with me, and I trust that you can use this to grow my faith. Because tough times can grow your faith. I'm not telling you to celebrate every bad thing that happened in your life. Some of you are going through really hard times right now. And you are probably thinking, are there no other ways for my faith to grow? Believe me, I get it. I have felt the same way before. And chances are, I will feel that way again. But what I have to remember in times like that is that the difficult things in my life are not because of God. In fact, God is weeping right there beside me. God is with me. That changed everything for me and I want it to change everything for you too. If you are struggling through a tough time right now, I hope you will take a step to share some of what you're feeling or experiencing with your group today. Because one of the ways God can use tough times to grow our faith is through the help and support of other people. Your group is there not only to listen, but to help you take one step in trusting God, no matter what you are facing. So remember, tough times can grow your faith. <laughs> Sorry.